What's up guys, it's Christian here and today I'll be doing a National League Championship Series prediction between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Los Angeles Dodgers. And I will tell you why I believe that which team will win and how close it will be. So yeah, so obviously Milwaukee and LA did a very good job of getting to this point. Milwaukee won their division on the last day on the tiebreaker against the Cubs and then basically dominated the Rockies. Not in great fashion, but they did ultimately sweep them. So a sweep is a sweep. It's domination. And that's why the Brewers won that series easily. And then you have the Dodgers who gave up a game to the Braves. And they still won 3-1. Three 3-1, to one. Three to one, yes. I believe it was 3-1. to one. So it was not as close as any other division series. But, I mean, they won one game, the Braves. So the Dodgers didn't. I guess, win in convincing fashion. On the road especially, they dominated at um, Dodger Stadium. It was no chance that the Braves were going to win with their young team. So now, there's definitely some keys to this series. Will Yelich be the way he has been? Christian Yelich has been on MVP levels, especially in the second half of the year, and he looks like an MVP candidate that should possibly win it for the National League. Uh, you have guys like Ryan Braun, uh, you have Jesus Aguilar, uh, Jonathan Scope, Moustakis. They have a lot, a lot of depth. Lorenzo Cain from the, um, they got in the uh, winter in free agency. Um, you have other guys as well, like Curtis Granderson off the bench. They have a lot of depth. And I think the biggest thing for them is how long and how much can they get out of their starters because... Their starting pitching has always been their problem. They got Gio Gonzalez. They got Wade Miley. Um, Zach Davies is a guy that might make a start or come out of the bullpen. He's been one of their great pitchers like past seasons, but he had, I think, Tommy John or some um, pitching injury that caused him to miss some time this year. Uh, you got um, Chassin. Um, I forget who else they have. But anyway, they don't have like your number one ace type starter. So it's going to be very important that they get them out, get out like four or five innings. But they do also have a bullpen they can rely on because that bullpen's been dominant. I don't think they gave up more than like a run or two in the whole series against the Rockies. Rockies didn't score a lot of runs. And that's one of the reasons why the bullpen was so dominant. Rockies hitters really didn't have much to give them an opportunity to win games. And that's a lot to do with the Brewers bullpen. And if they can do that it's going to really have the Dodgers hitters struggling to get hits, get guys on base, and score runs. So I think that the bullpen and Yelich are going to be very important. And there's also other guys that need to contribute. Like I said before, Ryan Braun, Moustakis, Lorenzo Cain, all these type of guys, if they can contribute and help Yelich not have to do all the work against great pitchers like Kershaw and Ryu and Kelly Jansen out of the bullpen, then I think the Brewers really have a good chance of winning this series. I don't know how many games, but I think they have a really decent chance of winning. Now we have the Dodgers. So, with the Dodgers, you have some great hitters. They have a ton of depth. You got <laughs> your best hitter, Manny Machado, came from the Orioles in uh, the trade deadline. You got Matt Kemp, Kike Hernandez, uh, Jock Peterson, uh, <laughs> uh, Turner at third base. You got um, Chris Taylor. They lost Corey Seager to um, a season-ending injury, and they still find a way to be incredible. Cody Bellinger, Yasiel Puig. There's so many names and so many great players that their offense is one of the best in the league just based off depth. Now, the problem is their pitching is a little, little suspect. You got Kershaw. Ryu hasn't been bad. Um, Rich Hill hasn't been awful. Um, Maeda comes out of the bullpen, I believe, now. Uh, Bueller. Um... But the problem is the pitching, the starting pitching is not horrible. It's the bullpen. And there's not much of a bridge between the starters and Jansen, their closer, who's had some hard problems, but it was only in really Colorado with the high altitude. But anyway, there's no bridge between those two sets of people, the starters and Jansen. And if the Dodgers struggle to find that, I really think the uh, Brewers hitters are going to have a very good time and very good amount of opportunities to score runs in late ball games and ultimately mess up the Dodgers chances of winning games and possibly the series 
based off of that specifically because the Dodgers don't have a great bullpen. They have Jansen, but that's really the only out-and-out -out guy that you can trust on a game-to-game -game basis to get you outs, get you wins, get you saves. And that really, really questions me. Not as much as in a five-game series because there's not as many mistakes they can make, but in a seven-game where you're going to play four games in Milwaukee if it goes to seven, I really think the Dodgers bullpen is going to struggle and they did a decent job in the Brave series, but I think that there's a lot more experience and veteran presences inside the Brewers bullpen and organization that'll help the hitters for the Brewers. Like Moustakas is a veteran. Granderson's 38 or something like that, and he's played so many years in the league. You got Yelich is a decently old player. Lorenzo Cain, you got all these guys that are like developed hitters that they can probably screw up on a bad bullpen and ultimately win games just by based off how bad the bullpen could be. And it'll be interesting to see if the Dodgers have an ability to shut down Brewers hitters like Yelich and Braun and Aguilar and all those type of guys. And I really think this is going to be a really interesting series to see who can be better. Will the starting pitchers for the Brewers be good? Will the bullpen for the Dodgers be good? Whose hitters will be hotter? The lefties in the rotation for the Brewers is going to be really helpful because Max Muncy is going to probably sit against some lefties. I don't know if the Dodgers are willing to do that. And so will Jock Peterson, who's both of them have played very well so far in this postseason. And it's good that for the Brewers to start um, two lefties games one and two at home because if they, there's a chance they could take two there. And this is why I believe the Brewers are going to win this National League Championship Series. I think it's going to be really close. I really believe it's going to go seven games because I think the Dodgers bullpen will be better at home, but it will struggle at the road at Miller Park for the Brewers home games. I have it going seven. I think that the Brewers will ultimately outlast the Dodgers, and I think that they will go to the World Series, and it'll be interesting to see who I believe We'll get to the other side for the American League, but I believe the Brewers will win the National League Championship Series. So please let me know what you think will happen in the comments below about this series as well as the American League Series. Just please like, subscribe, and give me any video ideas for any sports. I can do any sports in the future.